I've lived in many places, but the East Coast has always been home. After living in London for a few years, I moved to the North East in 2005 and became a full-time artist. The sea is just so transporting. I come down to the beach most mornings with Lily to think about my art before I start the day. I love the immediacy of being able to pick up a biro and draw no matter what surface I'm drawing on. When I lived in London, I supported my art practice by working as a guard and tube driver for London Underground. It was a job brimming with life experience and the shift work gave me time to experiment with my art. My art practice explores loss experienced through human destruction and I make detailed layered viral drawings, sculptures and objects and design products. I feel compelled to tell the stories of real individuals through layers of symbolism within my drawings. I admire all forms of art and design and my passion for films as well as personal objects and subjects from my life provide an invaluable source of inspiration for my art. I designed my Fine English China dinner plate set in 2013 for my solo installation The Woodcutter's Cottage. The aim of the project was not only to celebrate some of the magnificent carnivores of Eurasia, but also to highlight the reasons for their decline and the challenges they face in an uncertain world. It took around six months to make the drawings and a further two months for me to design the plates and have them produced. And they're made of the finest English china by the New English, who are one of the best ceramics manufacturers and designers in the UK. The plate designs are limited edition pieces and can be displayed as china wall art or used for fine dining and biro drawings made for the project have been reproduced as limited edition prints by one of the best printmakers in the industry. As well as choosing to use the best artisans who make the highest quality products, I think the china pieces are unique because they feature original biro drawings with symbolism that gives a voice to those who have no voice. imagine not being an artist as it's a vocation, but if I had to do something else, I would love to work in wildlife conservation.